Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you Expose and specifically DAC Expose and this is a feature that is going to come in handy a lot if you're used to Windows 7 with all the arrow peak features and they're really actually really great features and if you've just recently switched over to the Mac you might be wondering how do I do all that stuff like I used to be able to do on Windows I, you know, why did I make this decision? You can actually do pretty much everything you can with arrow peak on the Mac so like on Arrow Peak, you'd be able to um, hover over your app tiles in your taskbar and see your open windows. You can show your desktop and you can see what apps you have open and stuff like that. Works just just like that on the Mac, and I'll show it to you. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done it yet is set up Expose, and you can do that by going into System Preferences. Now you can find System Preferences under the Apple menu in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and then just click on System Preferences and it's going to open up and from there you're going to want to click on the expose and spaces tab and make sure you click on the expose tab and here you're going to see this window where you can set up the your keystrokes for expose so you're going to look right down here in the middle and all windows application windows and show desktop so you can set which keys on your keyboard you'll press to activate these features so all windows I have set to F3, application windows I have set to left control, and show desktop I have set to F6. So I'll show you these features in a minute. Now the reason I can't tell you to press a specific key is that because this can vary from computer to computer if you have it set up with different hotkeys. So it's kind of a thing that you know you you want to actually set up and, and personalize to what, what you want it to be. So we're just going to go up here, and I have a very messy desktop here. It's all cluttered with all kinds of stuff. So the first thing I might want to do is see all my windows that I've opened and all my open applications. So to do that, I have the hotkey set as F3. So I can press F3 on my keyboard, and you can see all my windows kind of shrink, I'd shrink down and fill the screen in a nice orderly grid format. And I can see everything that I have open across my desktop here and even things that are minimized like I have Twitter minimized it's below the line here and it shrunk down even more to show you that it's minimized so I can look at all these applications and when I hover over them they turn blue and then there's a, the title below them so all I have to do to find the one I want is just click on it simply and let's say I want to click on this uh, window here with my files in it I'll just click on it and that jumps to the front so I can, if I want to go back to something else, I can press my hotkey again and then click back to something else. And this is the hotkey for all windows. So I can also have this specific to application windows. So let's say I'm on Safari here and I want um, just to see what windows I have open in Safari. And to see that, I'm just going to press left control. I have it set up as you might have it set up differently. And you'll see the windows that are open in Safari and I can click on one of those and switch to that there and then once again hit my hotkey again and go back and select a different one and that's the hotkey for application windows now the other one which you may be used to the most in Windows 7 uh, with Arrow Peak is show, show Desktop and Show Desktop would be like the little button in the right hand corner on your taskbar you click on it, all your windows just kind of go transparent. You can see your desktop. And for that hotkey, I have set as F6. So when I press that, all my windows fly off to the sides, and my desktop is open and free. And uh, from there, you know, I could open up a different application if I wanted to. Or if I want to go back to what windows I have open, I can click anywhere along the outside of my screen. Uh, there's a black bar, and I can click anywhere on that, and my windows will fly back in just like that. So that's the hotkey for Show Desktop and I have it set as F6. Now let's say you don't really like hotkeys and you just want to be able to see what windows you have open without having to press any keys. Well what you can do is you can hold down on an app icon, click and hold for like two seconds maybe, and it's going to show you the windows you have open from there. So you can see that just like that. And then click on one of course to open it back up.
And once you're in Doc Expose like this, I can easily find other windows that I have open just by clicking on them from there. I don't need to click and hold or anything. Um, and I can just find them just like that. So I can switch apps within Doc Expose just like that and switch around until I find the right one I want and then click on it to open it up. And this this really comes in handy if you have a lot of open application windows like in Finder I have several of them open here and I can just select the one I want and let's say I want to go back to that folder or different folder I can just hold down again and then go back to a different one hold down on the app icon again go to a different one now let's say I want to transfer a file around well I can do that pretty easily too so right here in my desktop I have this arrow peak image and what I can do is I can drag that image down to my window that my app icon in my dock and what it's going to do is it's going to activate dock expose and now I can drag this file to a different folder let's say my home folder and then drop it right into my folder just like that and it's moved from my desktop to my application folder and let's say I want to move this file back to my desktop without having to you know work with all these different windows and drag them around I can drag the file right over that folder onto my finder icon and then doc expose will activate I can drag it right over top of my desktop folder it selects that folder brings it back in and then I can just let go of the mouse button and it pops right back onto my desktop in my desktop folder so if you're used to Windows 7 Arrow Peak, you'll be very at home with Expose on the Mac and Doc Expose. It all works really seamlessly and it all works together and it's very similar and you'll be very comfortable with it if you've used Windows. So that's a really nice handy feature that Apple puts in there if you're, you know, used to Windows and you're a switcher. You don't have to worry about losing out on any features you had in Windows. So that's about all for this video. I hope you found it useful. And thank you for watching.